A new restaurant downtown Fargo is getting rave reviews. Rose Wild is inside the new Jasper Hotel on Broadway. Nader Musavi, food and beverage uh, director, joins us today to talk about what makes Rose Wild so unique. Welcome to the Welcome. show. Welcome. Thank you so much. Honestly, yeah. it's such a pleasure to be here, and thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. So um, I have been down there. I've checked <laughs> it out a few times, and I really, I, I love. It just feels good to be there. But you know, um, and sampled some some appetizers and obviously some drinks and you've got some fun names so um, first of all you know I, I just want you to give us a little bit of history about Rose Wild like tell us um, you know where where we came up with the name yeah, and, and all the history that that's absolutely. going into yeah. it so we we kind of did a play off of the wild rose petals that grow summer long so uh -huh. that's where we came up with the Rose Wild uh, Jasper Hotel itself uh, is from Jasper Chapin who was the third um, Mayor in Fargo, considered the, the father of Fargo. Okay. Um, so you look throughout the hotel, you'll see these little tidbits that kind of give, a, you know, pay tribute to everything that was Fargo during his time. Even our, our private dining area, um, the, the wallpaper is kind of an exact replica of the tent that he had, the lights hanging from the ceiling, the way it's designed. Uh, you'll look through there, there's a bow ties everywhere, which, you know, Jasper always wore a red bow tie, and we didn't want to be that over the top. Sure. So sure. we kind of... Just have these little uh, red, uh, these bow ties throughout the hotel. There's railroad, t railroad ties that are in that hotel. So everything kind of just gives a moment uh, for us to pay tribute to what Fargo once was and what we want Fargo to be now, which is this amazing community of, of people. And that's kind of the basis of Rosewild, yeah. the way it's set up and the way we designed it, our, our menu and, and our seating as well. Okay. And, and you know, we were talking in the break and you're not from no. North Dakota. No, so I am not. Where did you where did you start? So I was, I was born and raised in Chicago, and okay. I don't want to date myself, but I, you know, I spent <laughs> my first uh, 27 years in Chicago kind of understanding food and beverage. Uh -huh. uh, and then I moved to Las Vegas in yeah. early 2000 and spent the last 21 years uh, in Las Vegas at some uh, of the more iconic places on and off the strip. So uh -huh. I was at the Palms for a while in the Cosmopolitan. Venetian, so I got a chance to kind of hone my skills that's, there. That's quite the experience yes, to yeah, be out there. It's, it was it was great. For sure. It's, you know, it's where I met my beautiful wife, and, and we raised our, our sons, um, and then we chose to look for a community that we can raise our boys in. And, and the phone rang one day, and a long story short, uh, spoke to my two leaders. And when I got off the phone, my wife came around the corner. She was listening to the Zoom meeting and said, you're going to go work for them. Oh, and, um, that's awesome. And I asked her, I said, can we at least wait for the for the <laughs> offer to come in before we start <laughs> making decisions? Uh, the offer did come in and it was, it was you know, a great offer. But my wife did look at me and said, uh, where's Fargo? Yeah. Oh, really? Um, and then, you I, know, I shouldn't yeah. say, oh, really, because people probably do say uh, that. It was, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was different. Um, but we packed up and within three weeks was out here. Uh, awesome. We arrived late February. Okay, um, so you just helped everything get rolling out here too with um, with the with the establishment. Yeah, so. Chef Austin and I uh, got to meet on St. Patty's Day, um, and then we spoke, and we you know had Zoom meetings in the world that we live in right now. There's right. a lot of Zoom yeah, meetings at so that true. time, um, and got to know each other and, and the vision that I think we both had um, to kind of make Rose Wild into what it is today, which is just this really fun place. You know, uh, we joke about and we talk about. Uh, we want everybody to come in from, you know, the guy wearing a pair of sweatpants or the guy wearing $1,500 suits. But yeah, we want everybody yeah. to get together. And we, we truly make it a place where, you know, you can sit right next to somebody and, and revisit your neighbors once again and get to know everybody that's in the community. Exactly. So. And I think that's what your lounge area really is. Absolutely, it, yeah. It, actually, the seating in the restaurant is yeah, too. So yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about the food because it's Nordic cooking. Yes, it is. You know, sh it's chef's take on, on Nordic cooking. So it's kind of this rustic cooking that he's redefined. Mm -hmm. um, he is elevated um, and he's kind of, we, we went with a lot of our vendors uh, in town, a lot of ranchers and, and so we work with Dowding Thomas Farms, uh, Three Bears Honey, we work with Sandhill Farms, we work with Breadsmith Bakery, um, we work with uh, Drecker and Fargo Brewing Company and we work with um, Wild Terra Cider. I mean, there's we, we really got together with everybody that's kind I of around that. us and help uh, proof distillery. So yeah. and build this kind of food and beverage program that kind of speaks to Fargo. So whether you're a local or you're traveling, you kind of get a chance to enjoy, you know, the past of Fargo, the present, and we hope is the future of dining here mm -hmm. in Fargo. Mm hmm. 
I love it. I, I, that's so important to bring in, you know, others from this community. Uh, yeah, they're downtown by you, and yep. and I love how you put that on the menu too. We know that place. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. Really, well, we know. wanted to make sure that everybody knew that we, you know, that we are very thankful that all the partners that we have here in the community, mm -hmm. um, and how welcome that we have been in the community, not only from our vendors but just across the way. It's it's been so overwhelming. I think Austin and myself and, and our team kind of hit, take a step back when we when we get the reviews or we talk to people sure, and, and how sure. thankful the people are and how thankful we are. I mean, it's just been, it's been great. That's and awesome. It's well, been overwhelming. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick break. Um, sure. And when we come back, we're gonna talk about the much anticipated brunch that you have. So stay with us. <laughs> 